Right, how you doing guys? Um, been a wee while. Been putting some miles on the uh, wee PCX to test out the leg shields. Um, trying a new wee camera rig by the way. Um, I've done a fair bit of travelling in them now and I'm going to give you the kind of pros and cons of them alright. Uh, bear in mind this is like a 30 quid piece of plastic, there's nothing particularly complicated about it or anything like that. Um, they took all of about five minutes to fit uh, and I actually think they look quite good as well. So you'll see for the state of the scooter that it's not exactly been having an easy paper run. Um, I've used it in all weathers. It's out there in the salt and the grit. It's slathered in the um, XCP rust inhibitor. Um, although, I'm, admittedly, I'm, I'm just looking at the air corner of my I'm not a bike washer, so it's no had a wash ever if I bought it in June. So what I'm going to do is, um, once the salt's all washed away off the roads in a few weeks, hopefully I'll get it a good wash and um, we'll see what kind of job the XCP's done over the winter. I just sprayed it whenever I could see it was metal. But onto the leg deflectors, and this is the main focus of this one. Um, dead easy to fit. Okay. So, like I said, I'll take a bit fitting them. You've seen the video anyway, it's the previous one, I'll link it here. Um, dead easy to fit, serious doddle. Um, the wee sticky strips held them nice and in place. There uh, wasn't any movement or anything. A couple of wee pilot holes, bang your screws in, job's done. And the wee sticky pads fill in any tiny wee like, you know, like a gasket basically, um, holding them on there. Um, now, that is possibly the easiest body modification I have done to any motorcycle or car that I've ever owned and I've owned quite a lot of bikes. Um, I've actually got this written down as well so I don't forget these things, you know, as I wrote them down as they came to me when I was using them so it would be fresh in my head. So they were installed about what, a few, four, five, six weeks ago, something like that, January, start of January I've done them um, and it's now we're nearly at the end of February. So I've been commuting for a few weeks and that on them um, and I've taken the thermo scoot off the scooter apron just so I could see what they were like with you know, no kind of outside interference as it were. Uh, I quite like the thermo scoot from a kind of warmth point of view and it kept a lot of rain and that off you but um, dignity man, just you leave your dignity at the door with that bloody thing, do you know what I mean? Um, now I am terrible for commuting to work in just my Dickies trousers, um, they're kind of thick for work trousers I suppose but they're, they're, they're just trousers, they're no like insulated bike gear or even like lined Kevlar jeans or anything like that so um, when I tell you that I've been commuting in all this weather and at worst I've had to put waterproof trousers on twice and that's it since I've had it. And I live in Scotland, remember. Okay, the weather's shite here. Especially in the winter. Um, I'm going to give you the negatives first and then I'll hit you with the positives. There's, there's a couple of pages to these lists, by the way. It's quite, quite long. Um, I wish they did a set for lower down uh, where your feet go on the footrest because it's, it makes me feel like my feet are dead exposed to the wind. It'd be like a nice little pocket for your feet to go in. Uh, maybe I'll email the folk that make them and make that wee suggestion. Uh, I think it would kind of look no too bad as well that way. I quite like the fact that they're smoked um, and not just, you know, plain black ABS or something like that. And I think they look better smoked than they would clear. Um, I don't think they would look very good body coloured. And I am atrocious at paintwork, so I, so I certainly won't be trying that one. Um, the only downside that I have to these is drilling into the bodywork and screwing into the bodywork permanently. I would dearly love it if they came with, or if you could attach them with it. I haven't seen the tape, like, kind of narrow enough to do this. You know, the 3M mega, mega strong bond sticky stuff that you use, well, that I use to hold my GoPro chin mount on and my Bluetooth set on my helmet and stuff like that. I wish you could get away with just doing that with them, um, rather than drilling them. There must be something that you can do. Although in all honesty, I suppose they're going to stay on there for the life of the scooter, so it's not that big an issue. 
Um, I'm not. There is one one very tiny little thing, and it's the the, th the six little screws that you get to mount them three per side. I'm not overly sold on the quality of the metal, but time will tell on that. We'll see how they weather. Um, I might take them out and I might replace them for, um, you know, kind of nice high grade stainless steel ones that, that won't rust. Um, or worst case scenario, I'll put a Davy XCP on them or something like that to protect them. Positives! No, no, no. Couldn't have been any easier to fit, honestly, apart from just sticking on. In fact, if they'd been stick on, I'd have screwed it up because I'm terrible at things like that. Um, I had to kind of pop them off and, re you know, just footer with them a wee bit to get them to. Um, you know, kind of just sit just nice, but yeah, ridiculously easy to fit. I can't believe they're so cheap and they make such a big difference. About 30 quid online, I'll put a link in the description um, to AliExpress and you can get them. I got them really fast for China, I think they took like two weeks at most. Um, really, really, really quick and really reasonable for the level of protection they're giving you. I'll get to that in a wee sec. Dead simple design. I like the smokeness. Like I say, I don't think they look out of place on the scooter. I think they look, especially when aftermarket screen, I think they look quite good. Um, they work ridiculously well, and I mean ridiculously well. Um, I, like I say, I'm commuting just in regular trousers. Do you know what I mean? Nothing, that's trousers to anybody who's no Scottish. Um, so just not suit trousers, but just kind of thicker, you know, no quite chinos, no denim or anything like that, just trousers. And um I need to stop saying trousers, don't I? They are I mean I've been down to like kinda one, two degrees riding to work like that. I do a six and a half mile trip. There's about a mile of sixty mile an hour dual carriageway. And don't get me wrong, I'm I'm cold obviously, but it's no freezing and it's not necessarily an uncomfortable cold. I feel nothing on the front of my legs from the knee down but maybe to maybe about an inch and a half two inch below the kneecap the rest of the bottom shin the foot bits saw saw gravy man are awesome for that point the wind protection is fantastic they do work really well at keeping the the rain off you as well i've noticed there's only one slight wee point to that and it's just the way the wind whips around because you can still feel it kind of pulling at the back of your calf. So sometimes you can get a wee bit of spray on there but honestly it's enough to get you through most shivers, you know. Um, and if you're not driving too close to the car in front, which you shouldn't be anyway, uh, you're not going to notice too much spray there. Um, overall, I love them. I think they're fantastic. Um, I really wish they'd done set for the bottom down for my feet, man. I think they'd be great. Um, I'm going to keep looking to see if I can find anything like that. Couldn't recommend them enough. Absolutely fantastic bits of kit. Dead easy to fit. Worth every penny. Um, next up is going to be hand deflectors. You know, wind deflectors for the hands. Bark bustery type things or whatever. I don't know. I'm looking at a couple of options. I've used the Aesopus ones before and uh, I don't think they would suit the scoot. So. Uh, that's it, guys. Review over. Um, next up in the PCX is just going to be more commuting. I'm going to be doing an oil change on it soon um, just because I'm. Well, I, I just do things like that far too regularly, I think. Um, the actual scoot itself needs nothing yet. And if I hadn't, and I'm pretty sure I contaminated those brake pads, by the way, in the previous video. Uh, if I hadn't done that, it wouldn't even have needed the brake pads, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's it. Awesome. So, right on, guys. Happy times, keep it shiny side up, etc, etc.